All right, it's a couple days later. Um, needed a couple days off here, take a break. Uh, we're back on it here. It's what, Tuesday afternoon? And uh, I think today on uh, Vet Project, as you can see, I got all the intake off. We're gonna change the valve cover gaskets. And I believe we're gonna take all the smog stuff off, off this engine and give us a little bit of room. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to come, because I need a new belt already, if you look, you can see all the cracking in it. And from what I read online, an 85 inch belt will work just fine on this. So, let's take a look around. I'm going to try to get these pipes off too. I know on the uh, newer Vets, and Camaros and uh, Firebirds with the 350, 305 tune port, these have threaded uh holes in the uh, exhaust uh, manifolds these look like they're just brazed or welded right on so i'm going to, have to cut them off and then uh i'll put jb weld on there for now until i get it home and then i'll just weld them shut but i want this pipe out of here it gives us so much more room well, let's take a look over here too yes yeah, so we're gonna do valve covers Yeah, so what I'm hoping is all this is going to be off. Boom. Get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of these pipes right here. Um, yeah, see what we can do here. Um, yeah, I go from there. So I didn't order a belt yet. Uh, what I read online was it's either an 85 inch or 84 and a half inch uh, serpentine belt. I'll go to my local parts store, see what they have. So yeah, let me get this off. Uh, never did this on this particular car. So we're just gonna start yanking stuff off this thing. Um, I'll turn the camera back on when I make some uh, headway on this. And we'll go from there. Alrighty, bye bye. All right, we're getting there. We're getting the, some of the smog stuff off. Got some things unplugged here. We got this right here. Uh, smog pumps right here. It all came off pretty easy. Let's take a look over here. All right, all I have to do is just disconnect this right here. And this whole this whole unit will be off. These plugs will tie up somewhere. This connected to, to this smog pump right here. It's a vacuum port on the back of this. And I'm just gonna put a cap over this. And that'll block that off and um, yeah, so let me get on it. We'll get this thing off and then we'll figure out the rest. We'll keep going. All right, bye bye. All righty, I just wanted to make a quick update. In order to get, okay, you got this line right here, because we're taking all this off. And this goes across here. There's a hose that comes up for the, not the pump itself, but whatever that little uh, computer looking, I don't know what the hell that thing was, the plastic thing that was here. And there's a line that comes up, connects to that, and this goes to the other side. Same exact thing as this. And I couldn't get, the only way you're getting this off if you take the whole front of the motor off, AC and all this. So I just cut mine. And I just use a little wheel like that. I did hit my bracket right here, but that's okay. That's not going to hurt nothing. Yeah, I wasn't leaving that in there. That's coming out. So <clears throat> if I ever had to put it back in, I could just put a piece of rubber hose in between that. Uh, a couple worm clamps or uh, radiator style clamps and we're good so all right let me uh i just wanted to update on that so you know, anyone that goes to do this you know that's going to be a problem so uh let me uh finish pulling this apart all righty bye bye all right we're back at it um got all the smog stuff off pipes out of the way over here whatever this thing was called is out of the way over here i cut all these I did both sides. Let's go over here and look. Yeah. Let's see, get some light. Yep, they're all cut. That last one's a pain to get to, but I got in there. That's as good as I can get it with the tools I have here. So, um, yeah, we'll leave that for now like that. I'm fine with that. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna fill these up, these holes up with uh, JB Weld. 
just enough to block them off. And then when I get this thing home, I'll uh, just throw some weld on top of each one of these. You know, a couple little little welds on these. It'll close that right up. I mean, I can even go far as shredding that and just putting bolts in too. So if you don't have a welder, you could do a little bit nicer cut than I did. Thread it up, screw a bolt into the thing, and you're good too. But I got a welder, so I'm just going to weld it and make it permanent. So yeah, there you go. Let me mix up some uh, JB welding and we'll go from there. Oh, one thing I wanted to add too. I have this tube right here. This is probably what goes, this went to the air pump over here. And I'm thinking that's what goes to the catalytic converter. I haven't crawled underneath there yet to confirm that. But I think that's a one-way valve, so we might be all right. We might not have to even cut that off. We could just leave that like that. Or, or I could just cut it off, take the whole tube out, you know, one or the other, and just weld up the end down there underneath, you know, uh, the inlet for the uh, cat there. Um, you can see in the other video when I um, uh, I opened up the catalytic converter, you could see where I uh, where that tube is, and you can go from there and make your own decision on that. So um, yeah, let's take a look at this and uh, let me make some JB weld, and we'll stuff it in there. And we're we're getting there, and I just have to order a belt too. So that's it for right now. Bye bye. All right now, looks like. Uh, we got our JB welded these holes. There we go. All done. Go look at the other side. Now, one thing about the JB weld, this stuff isn't going to hold this. You're right next to the exhaust uh, exhaust ports. This is just so I can drive it home without hearing it popping like crazy or major exhaust leak. And uh, like I said, I'll just freaking weld the tops of these or I'll stick a bolt in and weld the bolt onto it. Something like that. I'll figure it out once I get home. So yeah, there we go. Um, that's it. Only thing I got to do now is hook up a, uh, I have to find a belt for this thing. Hopefully, uh, from what I read online, it's an 84 and a half inch or an 85 uh, inch uh, serpentine belt. So I'm going to start looking that up right now and then I'll uh, call up my uh, guys over here in the parts store and uh, see if they have one in stock or can get me one for tomorrow. All right, so until I get the belt, that's it for now. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we're back. Um, let's see. We're doing a serpentine belt on here, or I should say smog delete. Um, I don't remember where the heck I left off here. So let's say uh, that was only a second ago for watching this. But since this was yesterday, I kind of forget where I was at. But anyways, we got all the smog pump off. That's good. Um, ordered the belt. I picked it up this afternoon. 85 inch belt. We'll see if that works. Uh, let's see. I got the PCV valve in. Took care of that. Same as the, the modification. We just took the old one apart, took this T off, put it onto this one right here. If you watch the valve cover video, I think I had it in there. Um, what else we get done here? Let's go over here. Um, I got all the... Uh, air pump lines all tied off right here. A shame I didn't have any black uh, zip ties. <laughs> um, we got this vacuum port right here that was connected to the air pump. We got that uh, vacuum cap on there, so that's good. Um, let's see what else. <coughs> uh, we got all this done, we remember that from, I know I showed this already in the video. I don't know if I showed the tool though that I used to do that with. I pretty much use one of these. This wheel's all worn out. It's a little bit bigger, usually out to about here. And I pretty much just went like this. Uh, let me get a light in here. Hold on. Yeah, and then when I was uh, cutting these, like I said, I don't remember if I went through this or not. I just went like this. And zip right through zip right through and to get to this back one I had to cut this piece that was up here in little tiny beat pieces until I can get to this one and eventually got it done so yeah that and then the other side over here let's take a look uh, 
That back one was a pain to get to right there. But I eventually got to it with the same tool using that cutoff wheel. And we got there. Yeah, so it could be done. When I get it home, I'm going to put a bolt in these things and just weld the bolt into the thing. Into these holds. I don't have a welder here, so there's nothing I can do about it. So I got some JB welding there to get me home. Yeah, and that's it. Let's see. Oh, here goes an interesting thing. Remember earlier I said, I suppose I said, that um, I had to change the thermostat in this car. Um, or I had a leak near the thermostat. So I went and uh, my thermostat was good. Bought a new gasket. And when I took it apart, this was in there. And I changed this gasket myself. When I first got the car, when it was overheating, I changed the thermostat to one of those Napa uh, fail-safe ones. I must have missed this was on something. On the new gasket I bought? I don't know. I've never seen it. It's a piece of plastic. Yeah, so there's the cause of my leak right there. I did that. Ah, that's weird. <laughs> Alright, here goes another thing I got. Here goes the vacuum caps. If you guys don't know what they... If someone that's going to do this doesn't know what they are... I saw them in the help section at any parts store. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm probably going to put the uh, pump back on here without the pulley. You see, this is a little flimsy. It moves a little. I don't like that. Um, by rights, I could probably put a piece of uh, tubing or um, pipe in between here with a bolt. Hold this. And then I could run a... Uh, fabricate a piece of metal to go from here to here and then the same from here to here I just not and then run a bolt through here to here I'm just not going to do that right now um, I only plan on driving it like this for at least the winter all stock and then maybe next summer uh, maybe a set of heads a cam convert it to a carburetor I'm not really sure it's actually nice to drive just the way it is so, we'll revisit this serpentine belt setup at a later date. But yeah, I'm just going to throw that uh, air pump back on with no pulley on it or anything. Just to reinforce this. And then we'll throw the belt on and uh, see if it fits. Alright, so uh, let me get at it. Bye bye. Alright, we're back. We got her all done here. Um, let's see. Belt's on. Fit perfectly. Here goes the routing. Any other way but this way will not, the belt will not fit. So make sure you go down there, around the uh, harmonic balancer pulley, then it comes back towards me, around the water pump, shoots across to the AC, and then back across here. And what you do is when you put, you put this all on, except for this last pulley right here, the alternator, this will hang to the side. And as you lift this up, the tensioner comes up, you'll be able to just get this on. So yeah, pretty good. I already started it up. Um, let's see. Only vacuum line I have off is this one right here. This goes to the air cleaner uh, assembly. That I must must open up those flaps on that thing. Um, we had one casualty though. When I was putting the uh, air pump back on, I mean it's not dis it's disconnected. There's nothing on it. It's just there to give it uh, rigidity on this mount right here. I had my elbow on the old PCV valve here. And boom, I snapped it. So I went through all that shit. I was bragging, oh yeah, I'm not paying that money for one. And I broke mine anyways. <laughs> so there you go. Ah, who knows? So I got to order one of those. Anyways, let's fire her up. No check engine light. I already had it on once. She's running good. All right then. So yeah, that's the that's how she goes. So remember, if you go to do this, uh, this belt can only go one way. I tried a couple different ways until I finally got it right. So that's the way. I draw a little diagram on a piece of paper, take a picture of it, and put it at the end of the uh, this video. And uh, speaking of that, I guess we're at the end of this video. 
Um, let's see, next we're going to do the tune-up on this. Cap rotor, wires, plugs, get that all done. And um, yeah, then we have uh, ram air after that, to cut that out. Uh, we still have to put some coolant in this thing because it's just running on straight water right now. Uh, that's because I was had the, had the overheating problem and I was tired of spending money on antifreezes to have it just blast back out. So I've been running on water for the past uh, month, I would say. But it's starting to get cold here in Connecticut, so we're going to switch that up. So we got to cut the hole, coolant, fix the headlights on here. I have the rebuild kit over there. And the only other, th um, let's see, and the door locks need to be fixed. Well, well, we'll get to that too. So I don't know how far we're going to get with it, but we're going to get here. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, we'll end the video right here, and then that's how you get rid of your smog. And I did look underneath the car. This does go there. You know what we should do right now? Hold on. Let me go start it up and see if this is pushing any exhaust out of here. Can I reach? Oh. Now, nothing. So no, no, don't even have to worry about it. I mean, next time I have it jacked up and I'm at home, I'll cut the pipe off the bottom there. And um, yeah, then I got to plug the hole and weld it on the side of the cat. Yeah, but for now, I'm just going to stick a bolt in this thing. It's not doing anything. But I'm going to stick a bolt in it, put, fill it up with RTV, and that's good enough. We got a little smoke from the oil when I was blowing out the, the, the dirt from changing the uh, valve cover gasket. Because this is the first start since then. And yeah, so that's it. Now we're going to end the video. So see you guys later. Hope this helps somebody. Bye-bye.